Hello, welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is adding intelligence to your operations through the use of SRE Agent. Let's go. Okay, so number one, what is SRE Agent? This is something that was introduced at Microsoft Build in late May. And this is an Azure service, an Azure resource that will allow you to bring AI to your operations. Now, this is still in limited preview and there is a wait list. I will include the URL for that wait list in the description of this video. Now, we are looking to expand upon what is offered in SRE Agent as it pertains to logic apps. And so I wanna use this video as a way to communicate what is SRE Agent and then create an opportunity for feedback. So at the end of this video, and in the description of this video, we'll also include a link to a feedback form. Would love to have uh, further dialogue with you if you've got some needs in this particular area. Now, another thing that I'd love to you to think about or us to think about is this notion of what is available in SRE Agent and what are some agent loop solutions that could also complement SRE Agent. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as well in this video. All right, so a little bit more around SRE Agent. So this is an AI powered incident management and resource optimization platform. As mentioned before, this would be something you provision inside of Azure. Mm -hmm. And then what you get is a console that looks similar to what you see here on the screen where you've got essentially like a chat enabled surface. And these, are, these chats are called threads. And this allows for both proactive, and that would be you know information coming to you, but also reactive where you're able to go ahead and ask information as well of the agent and it'll go fetch it for you. Now it gets pretty interesting. What you see on screen here is this uh, incident alert that has emerged. So this would be something where there's integration with Azure monitoring. And if you have an alert that's fired for your resources that are in scope, you will see that show up here and actually some investigation, triage, and recommendations for resolution showing up here as well. There's also the ability to seek guidance where you can say, hey, what are the best practices for my resources? And because SRE Agent will have the resources in scope that you define, that it can go ahead and give you best practices. So if you think about configuration drift or security vulnerabilities or just you know best practices in terms of how do you secure your your solutions this is going to give you that information as well all right so let's jump ahead and let's see a demo now in this demo we're going to see that resources have been configured that sre agent will go ahead and manage so how you can think of this is you select one or more resource groups and it'll actually create a graph of dependencies that you can go ahead and see. Uh, you will also see the health of those different dependencies as well. We're also gonna see that situation I mentioned where Azure Monitor Alert will be fired and our SRE agent is going to go ahead and do this triage for us. Now this becomes super important. You think about scenarios where, you know, it's the middle of the night um, or you're busy in another meeting and all of a sudden you've got an alert. And uh, this is one of those things where SRE Agent's gonna do some initial triage for you as well and give you recommendations. So instead of you having to go hunt and fetch all of this different telemetry to figure out what's going on, it actually can do that for you and give you recommendations. This ultimately allows you to reduce the mean time to resolution, MTR. And that at the end of the day is super important for all customers is how do we get through operations work as fast as possible. We'll also see some examples of reactive best practices, proactive best practices, and this is something that's new, uh, and that's daily health checks as well. So we'll go ahead and, and show that. All right, so this is a video that I did show at Integrate in June. So uh, it's a few minutes long, but this will give you a brief tour of SRE Agent. And so here what we've got on screen is a deployment view of all of the different SRE agents that are in like my subscription here. And I'm going to go ahead and select this KWeer Ops Agent 
instant instant. So let's go ahead and move forward. So we can go ahead and click into this. And when we click into it, we see the surface. And this is that chat base surface that I talked about before. Now here, what we're going to go ahead and see is the resource mapping. So I've gone ahead in advance of this and I've configured a couple different resource groups. Now what it's gone ahead and done is it's inspected all of those resource groups and it's gone ahead and understood the dependencies. So here we've got different logic apps, you know, they're called web apps, at least for now, but just because they're based on app service, but we can see our app service plan, workflow service plan that is supporting this under the hood. And we can see that they're all healthy from that perspective. So we can go ahead and click into these as well and basically go ahead and explore the health and the dependencies of our resources within our knowledge graph. Next up, what we're gonna go ahead and do is explore an incident. Now, this is showing up here because number one, you can integrate alerting platforms with SRE Agent. There's currently two that are supported. One is Azure Monitor, the other is PagerDuty. And so what's happened here is that as part of my resource groups that were onboarded, it had detected that I've got an API management instance and as a result, it's also detected that we've got an alert that exists for one of those resources in our knowledge graph. That's what's happening here. And we can see more information about the alert. So this shows here the actual alert that is in Azure Monitor. And so we can go ahead and see different charts and see exactly when did this alert fire and additional information as well. We can also go ahead and acknowledge uh, or close the particular alert. Now in this case, the agent automatically acknowledged for us, which is, is pretty cool. So next we can go ahead and see what's going on. Now here we do see that it was acknowledged, so that's great. And then what we can see is that it's starting to perform an investigation and form a hypothesis. So we can actually go ahead and click into each one of these. Now, what it's determined is that through the telemetry, it's figured out that we've got more requests coming in than expected. And as a result, we've got an alert that's gone ahead and been, you know, emitted from that perspective. So this would be things that you would normally have to manually figure out for yourself, but it's already gone ahead and done some of this legwork for you. Next up, we can go ahead and see that the agent went ahead and analyzed activity logs. Now, this is super important. Naturally, whenever there's an error or an issue, there's always the question of like, what changed? Because this was working fine yesterday. And so this will actually go ahead and inspect those activity logs, see if there are any changes. Um, that could be a root cause. You never know. But it's now going to go ahead and do that for you. It'll also go ahead and check for any other dependencies and look for other patterns in log analytics. Now, this is where it gets more interesting, okay? What's the root cause? That's always the number one question that stakeholders have is, you know, what actually caused this? Now, this is an agent, and obviously Gen AI is, is you know, usually not perfect, but what it is pretty good at is giving some level of confidence around its hypotheses. So here we can see that there's two hypotheses with different levels of confidence and this you know gives us a strong indication that the surge in requests was normal and we should you know therefore go ahead and consider tuning our alert because this does look like legitimate traffic now you might be thinking okay great uh, ai just went and did a bunch of the stuff and you know that's all it came up with but on the flip side imagine a scenario where you had to come to that conclusion yourself so instead of you scanning and spending a few minutes uh, looking at these results, you going and hunting and finding all that information for yourself. Um, so that's, that's good. And I guess the other nice thing here is that it also has seen no evidence of code bugs, deployment changes, or resource exhaustion. So it's also done some ruling out as well, which is, is pretty important. All right, so it's finalized its investigation and then gives us some recommendations on how we should proceed. And then that includes tuning our alerts because it's likely too sensitive from that perspective. So that's um, interesting. Now let's talk about 
uh, basically reactive best practices. So me as an operations person, I can say, can you audit best practices for my resource? Now, in this case, it's gonna ask for a resource name. In this case, I'm gonna use uh, a logic app and it's gonna then come back and determine that we are using an older version of TLS and we should go ahead and update that or upgrade it. Now, what's gonna happen here is SRE agent is not gonna do anything without your consent, right? So in this particular case, it's asking if you wanna go ahead and update it and you have full control here. You can approve or you can deny, but in the event you choose approve, you've now automated all of that work. Instead of you having to manually go ahead and do that, you can go ahead and leverage this as well. Now, another interesting scenario is more what I would consider proactive uh, guidance. Now, when I initially went and set all of this up, it went ahead and inspected all of the resources and it found that we're using key-based authentication with Service Bus. And so this was a scenario where it's saying, hey, that's not a best practice, but would you like me to go ahead and disable that for you? Once again, I'm in full control. I have the ability to approve or deny. And based upon my instructions, the agent will go ahead and respond accordingly. All right, so there was one other scenario I did wanna show you as well. Now, this was something that was added recently, uh, certainly from the, the time I recorded that initial video, and it has to do with a resource report. So this is something where on a daily basis, this is actually shared. So we can go ahead and see, you know, do we have any sort of incidents or repository insights? And we can actually get a red light, green light show indicating overall health of our application. And, you know, it's giving me some other sort of recommendations to go check on, but otherwise this is gonna go ahead and do this for me on its own. So I like these types of approaches where you can come into the office or log in in the morning and you can go ahead and see exactly what the state of your application is without you having to go ahead and manually deal. All right, so that gives you a high level overview of SRE agent. Now, there's also this opportunity around what do we do with agent loop? So agent loop, if you haven't heard of it, it is a, an ability to create agentic business processes inside of Azure Logic Apps and more specifically the Logic App standard. So the ability to go ahead and connect a model, system and user prompts, and tools in order to orchestrate a loosely coupled business process. Now, one of the demos I've put together, it's on my channel, so if you haven't seen it, I would encourage you to check it out. And it's the ability to go ahead and use an agent to help with Logic Apps operations. And in this case, it's a repair and resubmit use case that includes a human in the loop capability as well. So the idea is that you have business data that gets stuck in Logic Apps, how can you orchestrate a process to go get that resolved? And how can you ensure that you're compliant with existing organizational standards like logging, updating, and closing uh, ServiceNow or ITSM tickets? So think of um, a scenario where obviously there's things inside of SRE Agent that are very common because it's part of the Azure platform. And then also think of scenarios where, hey, I've got perhaps some unique needs in terms of how I go ahead and resolve operations and what might what opportunities might exist if I tried to integrate these two together. So something to think about as well and we'll kind of see how this story unfolds but it would be great to get people's perspectives on sort of the combination of both SRE agent plus your own custom AI processes as well. All right so would love to get your feedback just around what you saw here and what are some of the needs that you would have from a Logic Apps perspective if we went ahead and made additional investments in SRE Agent. So go ahead and uh, click on this link. You'll find it in the description, aka.ms slash Logic Apps slash SRE dash agent and fill out the form. And if you wanna have a deeper conversation, we'd love to get on a call with you and uh, further discuss this. So thanks for checking out this video.